Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio and today I'm going to talk about the only two Monster Hunter games I found on Java. If there are any other Monster Hunter games on Java you know, please tell me in the comments. But for now, these two are the only ones I found. The first one by the cover is called Monster Hunter Freedom and it feels like a simplified version of Monster Hunter. I haven't gotten far in the game because the game is in Chinese and I don't know Chinese, but from what I've played it seems like a good game. It has small monsters that they can grind on and big boss battles. Actually the game's description says that there are 7 bosses in the game. Also the game packs some decent amount of content too. The description says that the game has 6 levels. It has a forest level, the one you can see now in the video, a mountain level, a castle level and more. You, can, you have a button to dig for items and you have another button to make food to replenish your health. There is a magic bar, but it seems that it just drains when I normal attack. Maybe later in the game there are some real magic attacks. And the game's description also says something about weapon upgrades. I haven't gotten that far in the game to know how those upgrades are, because the game is in Chinese, but yeah, just, just know that there are weapon upgrades in the game. And the second one starts different, that's how I know that it's a different game. Because otherwise, both being in Chinese, I don't understand anything about the story. In this one you start with guns, but it seems to belong in the same category as the other one, as the controls are the same, the looks are the same, and the overall feel of the game is the same. Unfortunately, for this one I haven't found any description to tell you about what the game can offer, and since this version is in Chinese too, I haven't gotten far enough in the game to tell you two, just like in the first one. I, I couldn't progress very far. But there are some notable improvements, like the minimap in the corner, or the XP bar, or the fact that you have more slots for special attacks than in the other game. Anyway, the first game sounds promising on paper, and from what I've played, it's pretty good. The only problem for me is that I don't know Chinese, so anyone who doesn't know Chinese will have a hard time with the game, as it's unclear what you have to do, or what you can do in the game, or what the story in the game is about. But if you're willing to partake trial and error and surpass the language barrier by failing until you succeed, then go for it. From what I've played, it's a pretty good Java game. 